Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie, and this is my monthly book haul. So for the month of March, I only visited one store. Obviously the pandemic is going on, so we can't really just go out and go shopping. Uh, but during the very beginning of March, uh, before like the worst of all of this started happening, I did visit my local half price books once and I did pick up a couple of books. The first book I picked up is Shadows by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the first book in the Lux series. And uh, I'm really happy I picked this up because I ended up buying the entire series. You'll see that here in just a minute. The next book I picked up at Half Price Books is Wrecked by J.B. Salisbury. All I know about this one is that it is a best friends to lovers romance. Then I picked up a couple of books that aren't really uh, books that I would normally pick up, but I'm wanting to maybe get into just a tiny bit, which is kind of mysteries and thrillers. And so I picked up The Lies We Told. This was a book of the month book and I got it on sale for $3. So I couldn't pass it away. This is by Camilla Way. I don't really know a lot about this book. I know that a girl like kind of knows that there's something wrong with her daughter. And I think her daughter is supposed to be like some kind of creepy person. I don't know. Really don't know a lot about this book. I like to go into these kind of stories blind. So we'll see how I like it. And the last book I picked up at Half Price Books is The Winter Sister. This is by Megan Collins. And once again, I got it for $3. Um, I've heard a lot about this book, but I don't really know anything about it. So I don't know. We'll see. The next book I want to talk to you about is the book that I got in my monthly Bookworm Box subscription. And that is The Forbidden Man by Karina Hawley. This is the original, this is not the original cover. This is a cover that was done specifically for the bookworm box and I love it. I think it is so pretty and it is of course signed by the author and it comes with a little note from the author. I just, I love the bookworm box. The next set of books I'm going to talk about are books that I picked up at Thrift Books. The first book on that list is The Club by Lauren Rowe. As you all know, I have started the Morgan Brothers series, which is five books. I've read three of them, but what I didn't realize is that the um, Morgan Brothers is kind of further down on the list of series, and The Club is one of the first books, I believe. This starts out with the Faradays. Yes, it starts out with Jonas Faraday, and so I'm really kind of curious because they are really prominent in the Morgan Brothers series. I'm curious to see how this whole thing started. The next book I picked up is Bombshell by C.D. Rice. Uh, this author is going to be a book bonanza and it says a nanny, a Hollywood star, a love they never expected. So that sounds really good. The next book I picked up is also by C.D. Rice. This is King of Code. This um, is about a guy who built this unhackable app and then in front of the entire world, it's hacked into. And I believe the person who hacks into it is the love interest. So that just sounds super awesome. I cannot wait to get into this one. And the last book I picked up by C.D. Rice is Marriage Games Part 1. This is where a husband and wife, um, the wife is wanting a divorce and the husband asks for 30 days in some kind of a remote village and I guess he's trying to win her back. The next book I picked up at Thrift Books is The Siren. This is by Tiffany Rice. I have heard a lot about this author from Amanda. She is one of my friends um, that I met through the book Bonanza List. She's one of the girls that I read with all the time and uh, we talk every single day and she is obsessed with this author and I promised I would read her very soon so I'm going to get to this. I promise Amanda. Promise. The next book on my list is Be With Me. This is by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I believe this is the third book in the series. I now have the complete series. Jennifer L. Armentrout is also an author that's going to be a book bonanza and I cannot wait to get all of her books signed. I also picked up All Grown Up by V. Keelan. I have heard so many wonderful things about this book. Uh, I believe that the heroine is older than the hero. He is kind of like the neighbor boy who she knew as like a teenager and now he's all grown up. And uh, I'm not normally a fan of when the women are older, 
but I've heard like great things about this book and V. Keelan is an auto buy author. I want every single book she's ever written. So of course I bought this one. The next book I picked up is Faded. This is by Rebecca Zanetti. Uh, she's also going to be a book bonanza. I've heard a lot of really, really good things about this author. I've never read anything by her. I believe this is a vampire book and um, I'm obsessed with vampires, so count me in. The next book I got is Cocky Bastards by Penelope Ward and V. Keelan. Um, I'm kind of upset though because this is like super not even. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, I don't know. I'm super picky about my books and this one, it came like all super bent and that's going to drive me insane. It was supposed to be in light new condition or really good condition or something. But, um, and it is for the most part, but it's still going to drive me crazy. So I might end up getting another copy of this. We'll see. It's going to drive me insane. The next book I picked up is Raise and Reap by Tilly Cole. Um, I really wanted these books individually, but you just like cannot find them anymore. And I read Raise last month and I really enjoyed it. This author will also be at Book Bonanza. So I'm trying to get a lot more of books that I would like to at least have one book signed by the author. And unfortunately, I really didn't like her um, A Thousand Boy Kisses book. So this one is the one that I actually really enjoyed and would like to have signed by the author. The next book I picked up is Repeat by Kylie Scott. First of all, this cover is stunning. I love it. Um, and the girl is supposed to have amnesia in this book. And she has no idea why she made the choices she did, including leaving the love of her life, who was a tattoo artist. This just sounds really good. The next book I picked up is Fury of Fire. This is by Corrine Kellyanne. This is a dragon shifter book. This is book number one. I also have book number three or four that I got at Half Price Books last month. So I really wanted the first one to be able to start the series. The next book I got at Thrift Books is The Player by Claire Contreras. And can I just say, first of all, this cover is one of the hottest covers I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I just want to bone that guy. He's gorgeous. Um, and it says not for resale on it all the way across it. So apparently this was an arc, but it doesn't matter because I'm still going to have it signed because that guy is just... I just want to know who this guy is so I can follow him on Instagram. I mean, come on. He is... Mm. Yes, please. The last book I picked up at Thrift Books is On the Record by K.A. Lind. I want to read more of this author and um, I have the first book in the series so I figured I would go ahead and just get the entire series. The last set of books that I picked up are books that I bought from Amazon this month. I have several more books that are coming from Amazon. I've been going stir crazy sitting in this house all the time so I've just been buying books on Amazon. And uh, so I do have several more coming, but I will have those in my April book haul. And so for now, let's go ahead and talk about the books that I currently have. The first book I got was British Bed Make. This is by Penelope Ward and V. Keelan. I had no idea that this was the same book as Dear Bridget, I Want You. And I own that book as well. So I have two copies of this, but... Um, I mean, I don't necessarily mind owning this cover. It is pretty. The next book I picked up on sale was The Stopover. This is by T.L. Swan. I've heard really good things about it. I don't really know much about it. It is a very large book, um, but it is one that I am wanting to read. The next book I picked up is Worth the Chance by V. Keelan. This is, I believe, book three. I now have all of the books in the series and am ready to go ahead and start it soon. The next book on my list is Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I am trying to collect all of Colleen Hoover's works and I've only read like two or three of her books so I really need to get on with reading more but um, I'm really happy to own this one. The next book that I picked up was The Boy That I Grew Up With. This is by Tijan and um, I actually picked this up because we were reading it for a book club. I mentioned this in my March wrap up and um, it was like $5 for the ebook or it was $10 to own the book. So I thought it was crazy to buy the ebook whenever I could have the physical book and have it signed by the author. 
So the last set of books that I have to talk about are all in the same series. I will say I started listening to the series on Audible Escapes and I got two or three chapters in and I loved this book so much that I actually quit listening to it on audiobook. I am the type of person that if I love a book that much, I want to actually read it for the first time and not just listen to it. I'm super picky about it uh, because in my opinion, I mean, you can only really truly read a book for the first time once. Like you'll never not be able to unhear and, and listen to something for the first time ever again. You can reread it as many times as you want. You can listen to it as many times as you want, but you can only really read a book and truly go through that process just one time. And I had such a nostalgic feeling about this series. I, it reminded me so much Twilight that I just, I had to stop listening to it. I wanted to actually dive in and read this series. So I picked up the first five books in the Lux series. This is all by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The first book is Obsidian. This series, first of all, can I just say, I know that these covers aren't like the original, but I love these covers so much. Aren't they gorgeous? And I know they're out of order right now, but still, they're so gorgeous. And um, I am super excited to jump into this. It will be one of the next books that I read. I am just, I remember I just read like the first two or three chapters and I just fell in love with the characters, with the setting. Seriously, it gave me such Twilight vibes and I know I'm super late to the series, like so late. There are so many times I could have read this book, but I'm glad I waited because I have been missing Twilight. I've missed that feeling of, you know, girl moves into a small town and there's this mysterious, um, mysterious family and just the whole aspect of it just so reminds me of Twilight and I've missed that so much. So I'm so ready to start the series. All right. So that is it for me. Those are all the books that I have purchased in the month of March. So what is it that you've bought lately? What is it that you have been obsessed with that you just, you had to have the physical copy of? Let me know. And if it's something that I haven't read, I would love to start reading it. I have a huge, massive TBR pile and I keep reading as fast as I possibly can. I've read 75 books so far this year. I'm super excited about how many I've read, but I really, really, really want to keep going and read as many as I can this year. There's just so many books and just so little time. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys soon.